Uh, here's a question from Mark. Many thanks to Karan for his great interview with Pat Gintempo on the Supplements Reveal documentary. I have one oh, question. Cool. Thank what you. What is the best we can do to combat the evolving coronavirus as far as foods to eat, supplements, et cetera? Yeah, um, interesting. You know, it's becoming, it's on the verge of becoming a pandemic, obviously. It's a, uh, and, and the coronavirus is a family of viruses that actually cause a common cold as well. So we've all been exposed to a type of coronavirus before. We've all had it. Uh, this one seems to create a, a respiratory distress more so than other coronaviruses. But like any virus, um, the our whole uh, crux of fighting the virus is about upregulating the immune response in the body. It's about providing the uh, soldier cells that patrol throughout your body, the macrophages and dendritic cells that patrol the system. It's providing them with energy. What is their main source of energy? Butyrate from the gut. So you're going to need um, short chain fatty acids. You're going to need um, to produce them. So you're going to need uh, resistant starches, the right prebiotics. You need to have a diversity of fibers within your foods. Of course, staying away from the wheat sources of fibers because you don't need the inflammation leaky gut to mess up your immune system. Um, so, so feeding your gut microbiome a diverse source of fermentable carbohydrates is going to be really important for upregulating your immune response and keeping those defender cells that circulate around look for these types of invading viruses in your mucosal system and go after them right off the bat. Um, your natural killer cells are really important in viral defense. Again, natural killer cells are proliferated in the payers patches, and the payers patches are stimulated by the microbes in the microbiome, uh, and the spores do that really well. So during cold and flu season, for example, I double my intake of the spores. Um, it really helps upregulate those natural killer cells and the and the T and B lymphocytes that help fight against the uh, the virus. Now there are more and more cases of people getting the coronavirus, being positive for it, being positive to a point where they can transmit it, but don't show any symptoms. Right? It's kind of like influenza. It's becoming like an influenza where the vast majority of people actually don't show any symptoms and get exposed to it. There was a uh, study done in, and published in the British uh, Journal of Medicine that showed when they surveyed tens of thousands of people at the end of one of the flu seasons, I think it was a 2014-2015 flu season, they found that the vast majority of people they checked actually had antibodies to influenza present during the season and never showed symptoms. So the vast majority of people will likely get exposed to it. And if your immune system is up and regulated, it's going to take care of the virus um, and, and hopefully not allow any symptoms to show up. So uh, diversity in foods, don't eat any toxigenic foods like wheat because that brings down your immune system. Keep up with your spore uh, probiotics and then get some fermentable carbohydrates in there to keep the butyrate levels high to service the immune system. Those things alone can help quite a bit. That's a fabulous answer, just fabulous. And for those that don't know, uh, Karan started that answer with butyrate or butyric acid. And remember, Mrs. Patient, you have an entire new body every seven years. Every cell in your body regenerates. The fastest cells are the inside lining of your gut. Mm -hmm. every couple, three days, four days, depending on what paper you read. And how do those cells, what's the fuel for those cells to rebuild? Butyrate or yep. butyric acid. And how do you get butyrate? It's the action of the good bacteria in your gut on vegetable fiber. That's why you're eating root vegetables. That's why you print out from Google list of prebiotic foods and have two of those every day and one root vegetable. That's why you take the mega prebiotic and you take the mega spores every day is to help build up your butyrate levels because that's the fuel for your special forces, your immune system that's going through your bloodstream, taking care of any of these viruses that come in. That's the fuel to feed the special forces. Yeah, so, you, and we cannot overstate the importance of it. I mean, it's, it's really so important. Yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed. 